They did it again, everybody. Episode means new millionaire on PokerStars. This is episode 8 of Let's Review I Want Million Poker. I've got some exclusive footage here from the latest $100 spinning goal that turned one of these lucky guys or gals into a new millionaire. Second and third place each take 100k, so that's not too bad either. We've got Grind Heaps from Australia. Right hand side, we got Gavinator from Ireland. And in the middle, we've got English Girl 9 from the UK. As always, we're going to review all the action and all the hands from this spin and go and see if we can learn a thing or two. Without further ado, let's just jump right in. Very first hand, we see Gavinator min raising, English Girl defending from the small blind. Flop comes king, queen, six, goes check, check. Turn is a deuce, and it goes check, check again. And the river comes a king. Again, both players check. Pretty passive start into the match. English girl shows down the winner with two pair of kings and sixes. Did not choose to value bet this one. I expect Gavinator to have some ace-axe combinations here that he was just trying to show down. And next hand, hand number two, we see English girl shoving her entire stack in the middle. That's pretty loose and very aggressive. Maybe she wants to set... An aggressive tone early on in the match and hope to get that paid off later. Definitely not a necessary play at 10-20 blind levels for sure. She goes for it again in hand number four with another shove over Gavinator's open and continues to stay aggressive. That gets her an early chip lead. Hand number six, Grind Heap opens and English Girl shoves one more time. Only this time Grind Heaps makes the call. So let's see if her image paid off. If she shoved with a good hand and Grind Heap's caught with a little bit of a weaker hand than he would normally call. But it's also not too surprising to see Grind Heap's calling off with Ace Queen. I would even call that hand off against an unknown opponent shoving for 20 or less big blinds in that situation, I guess, because it's way too strong of a hand. And against English Girl, I would probably even be calling with a hand like Ace Jack offsuit or Ace 10 suited. She's still at 40% equity here, so now she's left with 160 in chips. We've seen comebacks of all sorts and spinning goals. I've seen them myself and it's all about the chip and the chair trick. Very passive action between Grind Heaps and Gavinator now and Gavinator takes it down with a small bend on the river. Grind Heaps now shoving even though Gavinator is a little bit deeper. English Girl makes the call. I'd assume Grind Heaps has a lot of pairs here or a lot of hands that he doesn't want to get re-raised by from Gavinator. And that's a quite nasty board for fives, but fives hold up against the 6-5 of English Girl. So that's kind of a loose call. Now we've got the heads up between Grind Heaps and Gavinator. And the action is quite passive going back and forth and not really making too many plays at pots. We see an interesting hand here in a limp pot, King A3 on the flop. Again, Gavinator didn't take a stab on the flop and it goes check, check. On the turn comes a queen. Grind Heaps decides to bluff his 9 high flush draw and Gavinator calls of course and wins this hand in showdown so he gets back up on his feet a little bit at least Gavinator is still struggling here and he becomes very short it looks very much like Grind Heaps is in control of the match with well-timed stabs and shoves mixing it up while Gavinator still is struggling to survive but as you can see even though he's not the most aggressive one he is focusing on surviving at the moment until he finds a spot where he can double up. And in the meantime, they're just moving forward with limps and some passive approaches here and just some small ball poker. It actually takes us up until hand number 31 until they finally get it all in against each other. And I guess Grind Heaps might be shoving on a wider range here from the button against Gavinator as the short stack. And Gavinator... I expect we'll have a lot of Broadway's pairs of Ace X. And he shows down with Ace Deuce suited, wins the pot against 9 7. Both pretty standard plays at these stack sizes. Now they're even in stacks again, and we see Grind Heaps making a play that he's done before. With Gavinator limping in, he just seizes initiative and control of the pot by min raising and putting out a small bet on the turn there, which is enough to take down this pot. We see Grind Heaps limping in again, which he's done before. They've been mixing it up quite well, both players, by limping, raising, and shoving. And now Gavinator goes for the shove here. A little bit deeper, something that he hasn't been doing a lot in the previous hands. And we see a call from Grind Heaps. I assume that Grind Heaps has been trapping here in this spot, and Gavinator could be on a wider than usual range. Because it's so untypical for the rest of the match, how the rest of the match played out. 
and it's a king 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 board both players show down pairs and that's it grind heaps is the new millionaire by trapping with pocket jacks it's kind of unavoidable in a heads up situation same stack sizes between 10 and 15 big blinds both players heads up have a pair chips go in and you just gotta hope that you turn out as the winner pretty interesting to see though in this match that English girl tried to go for the aggressive way, just pushing all the time and really trying to force people out of the pots and building an early chip lead. The other two players basically played a very patient form of small ball poker in the end in the heads up match where they mixed it up quite well between limps and shoves and small raises and small bets, checking flops, checking turns, pot controlling and just seeing as many cards as possible. I like that style a lot. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video with your friends so they can also enjoy some I want million action here. In the meantime, keep grinding it up and keep I want million.